Do you like to dance? How about in a competition? You want to? Great! Grab that fur suit and let's go! Hey wait, why are you giving me that look? Hey guys, I'm Kamei Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. Today we are looking at fursuit dancers. Not just the ones who are dancing at the local dance party or rave or wherever there's just music playing, but we'll be looking at the ones who dance competitively. Let's go! Alright, you might be looking at this and saying, what's that? There's no way that's a real thing. I assure you, it is. There are people out there who dedicate time and effort to dancing in fursuit. Don't believe me? Search on YouTube, fursuit dances, and you'll find a fair number of them, including performances by Twilight Saint. One of the biggest names I'm aware of, at least. Have to take shout out. Where did the concept of fursuit dances come from? Well, it started with the concept of dance competitions. That's right. Dance comps, where you dance in a set style or a set list of styles before judges, and they judge you based on your performance. This might sound like something like, you think you can dance. And it is. It really is. Dance comps happen everywhere. If there's a convention happening, there's either a floor war or a straight up dance competition. And furry cons were no stranger to them either. However, Furry Weekend in Atlanta hosted the first fursuit dance competition. To compete, you had to participate in your fursuit, at the very least, a uh, fursuit head. Many conventions since then have picked up this trend, but FWA was definitely the first. Why do people enter fursuit dance comps? Well, by and large, the reason is the same for any dance competition. They want to prove they got the moves, like Jagger. Sorry, I couldn't help myself with that one. They want to show what they got. And the fursuits add a new layer to this development. Some people like to dance in fursuit on stage because the fursuit acts as a barrier between who they are and the audience. These people typically they might suffer from stage fright, if you will, where they just freeze up and cannot perform to the best of their abilities out of suit. But in suit, they can really bust the move. Others like how the suit adds a new layer of complexity. A lot of suits will have tails of some lengths, whether just a little nub or a floor dragger. These things will add a new layer of watching your feet. If you have a longer tail and you step wrong and step on the tail, you're going down. Wings, also a new layer. And don't forget shells too. Shells, tails, wings, they can all get in your way. So the dancers have to be extra careful while still busting those sick moves. A lot of dance comps, dance styles, Revolve around subtle movements. And depending on how your suit is built, you're going to have to put some extra effort into your movements. A dummy thick suit equals extra, extra effort to get that hip thrust going. Or maybe that shoulder shimmy. I am not a fursuit dancer. I am not a dancer, period. So there. Whether a fursuit dancer dances in fursuit, to properly express themselves without fear of stage fright, or as a means to test their skills, or any other means that I haven't touched upon in this video. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any. Each one dances for themselves and the audience, and I think they all deserve praise. Why did I choose this topic to talk about? Hmm. 
Maybe because a lot of younger furs or those who are just getting into the fandom will see fursuits and think, hey, these guys just have to be cute, right? Wrong. There's a lot of different things you can do with your fursuit, including dancing competitively. I gotta say, I love all the different styles of dance out there. How they can tell a story. Like the creepy, creepy Kiri the Demon, who had a haunting performance. And, hmm, quite frankly, if you want to see more of Kiri's suit, you can check out my Spooky Fursuit video in the card above, description below. And, I want to give a massive shout out to Twilight Saint, who let me use clips of their videos in mine. You can find a link to their channel in the description below. If you want to watch my last video, that'll be pinned in the comments below. Let me know some of your favorite fursuit dancers in the comments below. And any other topics you might want me to try to tackle in the future. Or you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share this with friends, family, other furry friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!